Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing basically a just doing my makeup. This is going to be kind of a follow on from my everyday makeup draw video. I've had, oh Freya, you're so, she gets so excited when I start talking. You want to be on the, on the camera. I've had a lot of people asking me lately, like, show us what you're doing with your makeup because they think I look good. I can tell you now, I don't, <laughs> don't look good. Um, I'm just, it's 90% of the time it's the lighting. I'm so lucky today, there's not a cloud in the sky. So hopefully uh, we won't have any issues with the color temperature on the camera, which is fantastic. But people have been asking me about my, like what I'm doing with my makeup. I'm gonna show you guys, it's really simple. It's really basic. I'm super enjoying a simple paired back makeup routine. I am going to use some kind of different products and I'm going to use some products I've been using for ages. But really, um, there's two things that I'm doing at the moment that I think elevate a makeup look. One of them is not wearing eyeshadow at all. I've been really enjoying that. I just man it cuts back on makeup application time so much uh, and the last one is actually false eyelashes which you will have to decide whether that is something that you're interested in doing or not for me it's been something that i i just know that it works for my face because uh, I know my eye shape we're gonna jump into it I'm gonna zoom in a little bit this is gonna be really quick really simple and uh, yeah you can see just how basic my current makeup routine is so I'm gonna start with primer I'm using the Bobbi Brown vitamin enrich face base I choose this because I have dry skin and that is probably like the main thing that I need to focus on when I'm prepping my skin for makeup. I've moisturized and this is like a secondary moisturizer. Next I'm gonna conceal. So I start under my eye and I'm using the Magic Away liquid concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade medium. I like to use my fingers to apply this simply because it warms up the product and I just think it applies uh, it applies nicer to the skin. So I start under the eye, focusing on this area where I'm tapping here, and then I bring it up a little bit into the corner of the eye, definitely the outer corner of the eye. Goal is to sort of lift this section of the face, and you can certainly do that with concealer. Um, you can use a shade lighter and it will offer like a highlighting effect which can also lift. I like to use a color that's extremely close to my natural skin tone in this section and if I want to lift more I will use a lighter one here but I don't typically use a uh, brightening concealer all the way under the eye because it can look Funny. I'm also going to take a tiny little bit and put it over my eyelids because uh, it's very common for this area to be slightly discolored or a little bit darker. Try to keep the amount of product that I'm using in this area really, really minimal. Since I do have fine lines in the area, things can start to look crepey. They can settle into lines. It, it doesn't look good. Um, I'm also, you'll be able to see I've got a little bit of redness around my nose, which is really common for me. I am literally just tapping like the tiniest amount on that area. I barely have any product left on my hand. It's just like the remnants. Next step is foundation. I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade 6 Ivory. I'm going to use a sponge to apply this. Sometimes I use my fingers. I'm going with a sponge this time. I'm a bit worried that this color might not be great for me. Mm, it's fine. It's actually really not bad at all. Now I always start with my foundation application in the center of the face and the reason why I do that is because that's typically where people have the most redness. It's where I have the most redness. When I'm picking up product, I pick up like a tiny, tiny amount. 
it is really really easy to add more if you need it but it never looks great if you're trying to take away too much so add a little bit start in the center of your face work the way your way out so now i'm just moving the rest of the foundation out to the outer part of my skin obviously if you have you know discoloration or something that you're trying to hide around this area of your face you might have like acne scars or something like that then by all means you know go in with product where you feel that you need it but what i try to focus on is really really thin layers and adding a little bit more as i feel that i need it problem is if you put heaps and heaps of product on your face at once um, you then have to blend it all into the skin and it just never quite looks as nice as multiple thin layers do so i like to build up my foundation i honestly would prefer to spend time building my foundation than applying eyeshadow <laughs> so that's what i do and of course i don't ever forget my neck i always bring my foundation down my neck very very small amount and what i do is i focus the like when i'm applying it first off I start applying it in this area here. That's where I want the majority because I'm going to drag it down my neck so that it tapers out and then it blends in with my body. I don't want to put a whole chunk of foundation on this area and then have a funny line between my chest and my neck. What's left on my sponge, I am going to just take over my eye and that is just in case the uh, concealer and the foundation color aren't matching up perfectly. It just helps to blend them all in together nicely. Next, I'm going to set with powder. I'm going to start under my eye. I definitely would recommend getting in close to a mirror and double checking that you don't have any creasing of product. You don't want to put powder over makeup that has already settled into a line because you will never be able to fix it. Thinking ahead to the rest of my makeup routine, I know that I am going to be using a powder bronzer. So I'm going to very, very lightly powder my face where that bronzer will be going. And that is just so that the powder bronzer doesn't decide to stick to my foundation and make blending difficult. I don't use a whole lot. I just use a little bit just to take any sticky edge off. I am gonna put on a little bit of lip balm because my lips are dry. I'm using the Sugar Therapy Balm. That's also gonna help to soften up um, any foundation that I've got on my lips and I will wipe that off a little later. Time to bronze. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs uh, Tantastic. This is giant and uh, I need to I need to start making an effort to use it up. I'm going to start just up here on my forehead. I start in my hairline and I move back. And once I've got the excess off my brush, then I can go in and blend. And I'm just going to work in sections. Start on one side, move to the other side. I'm also going to work here in the hollow of my cheekbones. If you're wondering where the hollow of your cheekbone is, if you uh, look at this little section of your ear, it pretty much travels down from here to where your mouth goes. And that's where I focus the application and I do pull it up a little bit, not over the whole cheek. You don't, I mean, you can totally put bronzer on your cheek. Don't get me wrong. I actually think it looks really beautiful. Um, going for that like tan cheek look, you can use a bronzer as a blush, whatever you want to do. But I like to sort of blend it up because I am going to put a blush on. I also like to take some here in this section, this little hollow um, between the hairline and the edge of the eye. And again, just blend, blend gently. I am also going to take it along my jawline. I'm not using extra product here. I'm just using what's on the brush. 
and it is just to sort of marry all of the colors together. A little bit on my neck, I like to do this. I don't even know why, totally not necessary. Um, but if you do want to try this technique, um, what you do is you want to, I mean, you can see like my, you can see this part here, you want to do it on the sides and you want to do it in a triangle. So it's going to go from like here down to here down, just like that. So a little bit in there, bring it down, a little bit in there, bring it down again not using an excess of product. You don't need much. You're not trying to like create color that people can distinguish. It is just to add a little bit of dimension because you put foundation on and it kind of blanks everything out and makes it a blank canvas. You need to add like shadow and highlight basically. Next is blush. This is a Can Make Cream Cheek Blush in the shade 15. I'm using like a dense stippling brush, but you can see how little a product that I have on there. Not much at all. And I'm just going to start high up on my cheekbone and I am going to drag it out. I don't like to put blush in this area. I feel like it drags my face down. I also do not use much blush at all. Often the amount of blush that I use on my face does not really show up on camera all that well because it is such a small amount. But for me, I think it is a more flattering look and I don't care if it doesn't show up on camera. I care about how my makeup looks in person. I'm also going to take it just a little bit up here on the tail of my brow and then into this little pocket where we also applied bronzer. Again, I am using the smallest amount of product. When it comes to blush and bronzer and highlight, just like foundation, you can always apply more, but taking away is gonna be really, really difficult, especially if you have applied a powder to set your base and then you're going in with like powder, blush, bronzer or highlight, good luck getting an excess of that off your face. Absolute nightmare. Use less and add more as you feel like you need it. Oh, I dropped my Mac Soft and Gentle because it was too hard to open, but this is what I am going to highlight with. I feel like I picked up quite a bit on the brush, so I'm just gonna tap and move it around. Now, I like to add a little bit here on my brow bone, on my cheekbone. I am also gonna dust a little bit over my eyelid and I am also gonna take the excess, if the camera will focus on me, I'm gonna take the excess that's on the brush or what's left, not the excess, you don't want an excess. I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and again, dust it just above the tail of my brow. Smaller brush, same highlighter, and I am applying the tiniest little bit here. Again, same product, smaller brush, just a little pop. You really don't need to use a lot of product for a makeup effect to be impactful. Sometimes subtlety is what makes makeup so beautiful. Next is brows. I am going to do these on camera because I don't believe in having a 20 minute brow routine. I believe in uh, filling in gaps, creating fullness where there may be some sparseness and balancing out the shape of the brow, brushing that product through to soften it up. And if you want to set your brows, you certainly can. I'm not going to bother today. Next is the eyes and I would say that this is the part where everything always takes the longest. I am going to tight line. I'm going to have to focus while I'm doing this. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner in Blacker. On my lower waterline, I'm going to use same product but in the shade Dove Affair. I'm also going to take the smallest amount of product and I'm going to focus it on the outer corner of my eye. So this part here and before my iris starts. So 
just in this section just here and then I'm going to take a firm brush and I'm just going to soften it I'm not going to bring it down too far and the reason why I do that is because if I bring a product too far along my lower lash line it drags my eyes down and because I don't have you know beautiful almond shaped eyes already i have to be really careful about what goes under the eye depending on your eye shape you're totally going to be able to get away with other tricks you're going to be able to put heavy makeup on there really deep colors whatever you know everyone can do all sorts of things i just know my eye shape and what works for me i do need to add some dimension under there otherwise things just start to look a bit funny if you tend to find that putting color under your eye um, just looks a bit weird or odd that can be a little trick that you can try because sometimes less really is more next thing is a wing liner now this isn't going to be for everyone there's a lot that goes into a wing liner and why it works for some people why it doesn't work for some people what i will say is a wing liner can work for everyone the problem that a lot of people will run into um, when they're trying to work out how to make it work for them is going to be their eye shape and the issues that they're dealing with not really something that i'm going to go into in this video because the discussion is long and waffly my best tip for applying eyeliner is to plonk yourself in front of a stationary mirror don't use one of these it's not going to help you i'm not even going to use this i'm gonna actually do this off camera so i can sit in front of my mirror and see what i'm doing very clearly um, but just for demonstration purposes what you want to do is look straight at your mirror don't do one of these unless you're like you know applying your initial line sure you can tilt your head back and look down a little bit that's fine but don't be doing that when you're applying your actual wing look straight ahead find your position apply and then fill it in i'm going to do this off camera because i want it to actually look good and i don't want to be struggling with that okay wings are done and now i am going in with a mascara i'm using the anti-gravity mascara from milani i like to focus my mascara on my outer lashes back here and then just take a little bit on the inner lashes this is going to help to give that lifted effect and the way that it helps to give that lifted effect is you've got longer lashes on the outside which lift up and then shorter on the inside so you get a gradient of length which is very flattering i actually have two ever so slightly different eye shapes which is fine it's like super super common to have an asymmetrical face um once you know you have it and you work out how to work with it doesn't matter it's still gorgeous i am preparing my first set of eyelashes just letting that lash glue set um, i'm gonna wipe off my lip balm lips feel so much better and that's also going to take off any excess foundation i'm going to take a nude lip liner this one's from nabla it's in the shade nude 4. i'm putting on an actual lipstick guys actual lipstick this is from um hourglass it's the shade if only that will be the one and only time that i apply lipstick today i will touch it up with this it's from pat mcgrath it's the sexy lip fetish sheer color balm i'm going to put a little bit over it i only use demi lashes rather than a full bar lash because i have small eyes and if i'm using a full bar lash it really overtakes everything they are way too big it looks stupid a lot of people say to me you don't have small eyes i do but thank you so much for the compliment because that just tells me that what i'm doing with my makeup is the correct thing because it gives you the illusion that my eyes are not as small as they truly are 
So if we look now at my eyes, this one has a lash applied to it, this one doesn't. You can totally see the difference. It helps to give lift to the eye, definition to the eye. It just looks nicer. I like it. For me, it's one of those things totally worth the effort. And there have been many, 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 many times in my life where I've considered getting eyelash extensions, so it's a bit more of a permanent that well semi-permanent thing for me and I don't have to put on eyelashes all the time um, but I don't I'm not into the maintenance or the expense so I just either don't wear them or I make the effort and then I will finish with some face mist I'm just using the Morphe continuous so that's the extent of what I like to do with my makeup these days Sometimes I pair it back even more and I will skip the wing liner. I would just do the lashes. Sometimes I will skip the lashes completely. Sometimes I will just use my fingers to apply a tiny bit of foundation, a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of highlight and off I go. And most days I don't wear makeup at all. But this is kind of what I'm gravitating towards these days when I am wearing makeup. A little bit overexposed. Man, very disappointed with filming in natural lighting but uh, there we go that's that's how it looks that's that's my makeup I do hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to let me know uh, what you guys do for your everyday makeup routine are you still like big on eyeshadows are you you know paired back do you only use concealer and a lip balm like what's your what's your go I know some people also just use like bronzer blush and highlight and skip foundation and concealer so let me know like all makeup is correct makeup you know what I'm saying like there's no right or wrong way to do it it's what comes down to your personal preferences and your face what works for your particular face so feel free to let me know your thoughts down below and I will catch you in the next one bye